Hello, my name is Mitchell. I have autism and use a letter board to communicate. I wrote this presentation using a letter board held by my dad and typed it into an iPad to speak on my behalf. I will talk about that later in the presentation. I want to start by talking about presumed competence. Presuming competence means to assume an autistic person has the capacity to think, learn, and understand, even if you don't see any tangible evidence that such is the case. It's assuming they are not inherently incapable, they just need the right supports and systems to help them succeed. Presuming competence is about giving someone a chance, and helping them take that chance in any way you can. It is not wishful thinking. We've wrongly linked an inability to speak with an inability to think, a 2016 study of 1,470 children, the largest study to date on the subject matter, discovered that nearly half of individuals with minimally verbal autism had high nonverbal intelligence. I have non-speaking autism and have struggled all my life to get a voice. At the beginning, teachers assumed I was developmentally delayed and treated me like a baby. They didn't give me age-appropriate work to challenge me to do my best. They had me do too many easy subjects. They told me terrible things about how stupid I was and that I can't do anything. I feel that intellectual handicaps with autism are overdiagnosed because we can't speak. If you couldn't speak, would you want to be talked to like a toddler? It is really degrading and hurtful to me. Even before I had communication, I tried to learn. I taught myself how to read and do math. I am always doing something with my mind. Many years ago my mom found Rapid Prompting Method or RPM. It totally changed my life. RPM was created by Somamuko Patyai. She defines RPM as a method to empower the learner a means to express learning, reasoning, understanding and thus by identifying the open learning channels and the instant of learning. It is a way of communicating and learning. It has given me a voice beyond what I could have imagined. People have tried to make me communicate in different ways before, but I couldn't stand the limitations. Why do you think, why do you think that letterboard is so important for nonverbal people to learn? G, I, V, E, S, Gives, T, H, E, M, M, A, V, O, I, C, E, voice, T, O, two, C, O, M, M, U, I, N, I, C, A, T, E, communicate, T, H, E, I, R, there, N, E, E, D, S. It gives them a voice to communicate their needs. Now that I am fluent with a letter board, I am working on accuracy with electronic devices like an iPad and keyboards. To practice finger placement on these new devices, I pre-write what I am going to say on the letter board then transcribe onto my iPad or keyboard with some verbal prompting help. For short messages I am able to type directly onto my iPad. In the beginning the process took a long time to get accurate. Too many missed touches and working to find a good communication partner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. 
reach for it. C. Yeah. Okay. And then we gotta do a space with these ones. Black. Okay. And then. Long. Hold down. Mm hmm. And reach down. Good. It took me a long time to learn RPM, and it was a lot of work, but it opened up my world. I believe any autistic person who can't talk would benefit from it. I have learned how to answer questions, tell my needs, express myself, and advocate for myself. Go ahead and write that. So, please zoom in. We got two P's, so take one off. Okay. Yeah. E. P R E. S. Uh huh. P R E S. U. Mm -hmm. M. Good. I. Good. N. Typing with a letter board gave me a new opportunity in life that opened the world to me. So many can learn this as well. It does take a lot of time for the student to learn how to use the letter board and for their communication partners to pair with the student. Mm -hmm. e. Go ahead, see you on PE. Reach down. T. Mm -hmm. e. See you on PET. Good. N. Good. C. And. E. And space. Competence. Presuming competence. Okay. What else do you want to tell teacher teachers? M. A. K. E. Make. S. Sure. T. H. E. Y. They. T. E. A. C. H. Teach. S. T. U. They now give me grade level appropriate work like physics, geometry and history. This makes me happy to do my best. Teachers have to understand to give students a chance to show what they can do. It can be a long process and it begins with communication. I am really lucky to have this communication to share my thoughts and want others to have this opportunity. In summary, presume competence with your students. Teachers need to look for potential. Maybe try a small test to see if the student has good pointing skills. A more thorough test by a letter board professional would be the next step. Make sure they teach students and families about how a letter board will transform their life. To learn more about letter board and me, visit my blog at mitchellslifewithautism.com. Thank you.